Lithuania versus Greece. This is the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Win for all! Hello, everybody. Good evening, and welcome back to Manila here in the Philippines. This is the FIBA Basketball World Cup in the Mall of Asia, Lithuania against Greece. Group J, game day four. Thomas Well, these are always two of the teams that you think of the most when you think about major international basketball, Greece and Lithuania, and they are about ready to get it on here in the Philippines. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Mike Taylor. And if you can't get excited uh, for a game between these two countries, uh, you're never going to get excited. This is a fantastic matchup here as we move into the second round. Lithuania trending upward. Greece surviving against New Zealand. We've got interesting individual matchups, and we got great Team, teams playing with a lot on the line. Greece had to really dig deep to beat New Zealand in their last game to clinch second place in Group C behind the United States and to, uh, to fuel hopes of, of another deep run in the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Uh, but tonight, Dimitri Tutudis' team is coming up against one of the powerhouses in uh, international basketball, Lithuania, Lithuania, who much like Greece, always there or thereabouts in the top 10 of the FIBA World Ranking, Number presented two, by Nike. Margaris you love the style that both of these countries bring. It's unique. Greece played Sada outstanding Sinekevsky. defensively against New Zealand, turning up the pressure in their most Nine. recent win. And it what a fantastic team Sinekevsky. performance from this Lithuania team to beat. Montenegro in their last matchup. Well, everybody talks about uh, the likes of Jonas Valanciunas, but Rokas Jokubaitis also uh, a player that has come into his own the last couple of years, and especially in this tournament. You know, he was good at FIBA Eurobasket 2022. Last year, he's been exceptional at this one. Lithuania need everybody to be playing at their peak, but the one thing that everybody's talking about, including the players themselves, is, is the chemistry and the togetherness in this team. You know, some players are not here, and obviously they're missed, uh, but the players that have played for Lithuania this summer seem to have forged a special bond, and we'll think, you know, that could be key as they move on and try to advance in this tournament. Without a doubt, sometimes when big name players are not with you, the team bonds together and connects better. And Kazis Maximidis, they he has done a great job with his team. To this point, they come in hot to this great second round matchup. So Kazis Maximidis, he's got his game face on, so does Dimitris Tutudis. It's gonna be a good one. And you can see USA winning against Montenegro earlier today. That game was a lot closer than that final score suggests, 85-73. So now Lithuania trying to remain unbeaten like the United States, uh, but they're going to have to beat, no doubt, a very good Greek team who come into this right now fourth in Group J. Uh, they have two wins, but the loss to the United States, and they are behind Montenegro. Right now we're going to have the playing of the national anthems.
Please remain standing for the national anthem of Lithuania. Wow, that just makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up, Mike, hearing that. Jeff, that was a booming national anthem from Lithuania tonight. So much passion from both of these countries. They travel so well, but it's not just the numbers, it's the intensity of the fans. This is going to be a great arena here at Ball of Asia Arena tonight. They have come all the way from the Baltics to watch this, and also Greece. Their fans have traveled. The referees for tonight. Manuel Mazzoni from Italy, Martins Kozlowskis from Latvia on the right, and Karen Baki from Turkey on the left. That's the first time that we have seen, uh, well, we've, we've had Mazzoni here, uh, certainly for all of the games. Kozlowskis and Baki, note, so they've been elsewhere and they have arrived. The knockout round will be played in Mall of Asia, so we're looking forward to that. And we're going to look at the starting fives as well. And we're going to start with Greece. Thomas Walkup, Mikhail Luntzis, Georgios Papiannis, Kostas Papanikolaou, and Thanasis Antetokounmpo in the starting five. Rock Kavopoulos, Leonard Zakas, Maraitis, Lefteris Bokoridis, Papa Petru, who is the MVP in uh, the last game against New Zealand. And of course, Hatsidakis, Mitoglu uh, left to go home. Uh, right before the start of the tournament because he suffered an injury and it's not going to play. But Yorgos Papayanis, big papa, big player. And he's got a big challenge ahead of him tonight, matching up in the low post with Valanciunas. But we saw against the USA, he'll step out and hit those shots. Right now, Papagiannis is eighth in the, lead, in the World Cup in field goal percentage at 57.7. Thomas Walkup, the naturalized player. And he's cool, calm, and collected. Yeah, and this is going to be an excellent matchup at the point guard with Walkup playing against Jakobitis. You know, Walkup plays at his own speed. He's physical, can post up, can play pick and roll. Uh, Demetrius Atutis, the head coach of Greece. Lots of experience there. He really got the most out of his team in that second half against New Zealand. He got them to raise that level of pressure defense. Very impressive. And in case you're wondering with uh, Lithuania, we're going to see their starting five. And it's going to be Margaret Normantas, Tata Sadekerskis, who was outstanding in the last game against Montenegro. Ignis Brazdekis, Roka Sokobitis, Jonas Balanchunas, Maldunas, Kuzminskis, Motiunas, Benjis, Karanowskis, Demsha, and Servitas coming off the bench. And you always talk about Jonas Balanchunas when you talk about Lithuania. You see he's got two double-doubles. 
Again, fourth in the World Cup in rebounding, fifth in field goal percentage. He's played outstanding, and he's been a leader for this team. And again, we talked about Jokobaitis, how he played well in the last game, and just you can just look at his numbers. He just does everything. Jokobaitis and Valachunas matching up with the Greek point guard in five. These are the very interesting individual matchups within the team. We've got a great one here today, Ball of Asia Arena. Kazis Maxvidis, he coached them at the Phoebe Eurobasket last year. They lost in the round of 16 to Spain in an overtime thriller. And uh, he's now here. I'm guessing that you learn from every tournament, and he probably did. Yeah, for, they, they have a really settled team. They trust each other. But how about the game plan to cross match against Montenegro was copied by the USA team today. That's impressive. Says a lot about Coach Max Vitas. First of all, let me get the matchup. So Michalis is with Rokas. Full court pressure, support that, everybody. Brasdekis is Papa Nicolau. So the Kerkis we X. Remember also the double drag that they have. Valanchunas, we said we start with a 11 on strong. But if by any chance he gets the ball deep in the paint, we got quadruple and then close out. And the body, but guys, I'm the only machine. So I'm just designing the, the last part of the play. So Hadash is already handed off. And he's about to scream. Moses is already here. In case they go under, but. And PG has now to play another Ah, Kampa, I'm not going to. I'm so going to get my team to sit. And Nick Shadow Bows here to let us out. So one of the strengths of this Lithuania team, the rebounding. And uh, we saw a really good Montenegro team rebound earlier, but they still lost, although they out-rebounded the USA by about 17. Well, Greece needs Thanas Santos-Kompo to really get after those rebounds for, you know, that the four spot and the five spot, the front court in Lithuania with Valanciunas. I think this is a big challenge, but they, the Greek team has what it takes to match them on the boards in today's game. So second game of the night, and Lithuania's fans, as always, providing a, a lot of energy. Remember USA earlier today, Holt really uh, barely beat Montenegro. I mean, it was tight, but they made the plays late uh, and won that game. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Mall of Asia Arena in Manila, the Philippines. The FIFA Basketball World Cup game between Lithuania and the White and Greece in the dark blue underway. Lithuania unbeaten. Razdekis puts it up and makes the first shot. Established the post, swing the ball. Great teamwork from Lithuania. The Nassus Antetokounmpo. Similar game plan, Valanciunas in the paint, not respecting Antetokounmpo shooting. Valanciunas takes it deep and then hands it off to Brazdakis and he is fouled. And one. Great start for Lithuania, playing strong, attacking the basket. 
Valanciunas works middle, fantastic basket cut. Papa Giannis with the foul. Brasdakis about to have a three and a three point play. Didn't really stand out in the last game and already he's got the first two buckets for Lithuania. I don't think that Greece won't, you know, shots, especially early taken by Tetacumpo here from the corner. See if they can get something different. Here's Walkup. That's all. So Jeff, starting the game, Normantis is matched up with Walkup, and Jakobitis is matched up with Lutsis. Both players have the ability to be the primary ball handler and enter offense. Lithuania have been tough in this tournament. They have gotten in front of teams and very difficult to play against. Already out to a 5 nothing lead. Normantas. And oh, the rejection from Atat Campo on Big Jonas. What a swat. Tremendous. Here he is, going strong. Does not get to go. So we've seen the strength of Antetokounmpo's D and his offense has been lacking so far. Here goes Jokobitis. Nails it on the baseline. Paced himself well, got into his pull-up. Great start for Jokobitis. Walk up, and finally gets the first bucket for Greece. Two minutes and nine seconds into the game. And if Valanciunas continues to sink in the paint, there can be unguarded ball screens for Greece. Valanciunas travels. That was the block from Antetokounmpo. Sensational rim protection. Look at that. That could be the block of the tournament. It looked like it for sure. I think it caught Valanciunas by surprise. <laughs> Lunsis steps to his left, and that's an air ball. Looking for space. He throws it up. No stopping that one. And when Jakobitis plays pick and roll to Valanciunas, Papadianis cannot let Valanciunas get behind him on the, on the dive. Great pass, late delivery from Jakobitis. Walk up. And hits another one. So, so walk up, settling them down. Those shots are there for Greece. They got to get a good rhythm. They're rescreening into those pull-up jump shots. Jokobitis with a little pump fake gets Lutzes off his feet. Jakobitis sets up his screen well. You see Papagiannis caught in no man's land. He's got to drop with the diver. Can't let Valanciunas get behind him. And an above the rim finish. Great delivery and great finish from Valanciunas. Papaventru into the game. Larizakis also, Yanulis Larizakis. So Jokobitis, and look at what he does. Time per touch, four seconds. He ranks 10th among the guards. Attacking and playmaking very well for this Lithuanian team. Carrying the tradition of great Lithuanian point guards. Uh, 
And walk up. Doesn't walk it up. Here he goes. Papa Petru, who is the MVP of the last game. Coming off the bench, the captain. From the elbow, Papa Giannis. That's more like it. So, Jeff, early in the game, the cross match for Lithuania, Valanciunas stayed in the paint against uh, Antetokounmpo. He's got to come out and be there on the catch and pressure Papa Giannis. Brastakis backing his way down. They can't stop him right now, folks. Six points for Brastakis. No, seven points for Brastakis now because he had a three. Walk up. And I tell you what, after his first miss, he has answered the bell. Playing with confidence, leading his Greek team. There's Bryce Dacus again. Normantis. Look at Walkup get the rebound. Goes behind his back, passes. Larenzakis lets the defense go past, and Larenzakis drills the three. Well, we talked about how he just saves his best for the fourth quarter, but I mean, there's no doubt about it. He's one of the best players in this team. Yeah, and he's saving his best for this second round game. The smother Valanchunas, he throws to the corner, and despite the shaky start for Greece, they could take the lead on this possession. Again, there's so much pressure and physicality in the paint. Valanchunas playing strong, just was not accurate with the pass out of the post there. Monte Yunus will check in for Valanchunas. That's not a bad second five man. Yeah, Monte Yunus back in the national team. Walk up again, left open! And this Greece team, whatever happened in the second half, that magic still seems to be with it, how they played against New Zealand. Jokabitis gets in. Look at Walk up with the rebound. Now a push down low called on Sedekerskis. My, how things have changed here in the last couple of minutes. Well, let, Greece knows, especially Thomas Walker, they know Lithuania is going under at the point of attack, pick and rolls. You see Dimsha goes under once, he goes under twice. They don't want to get caught on the high side of Walkup because he's so good when he gets the defender in jail. They're, they're trying to be conservative, but let's see if they make an adjustment to their pick and roll coverage. Karanowskis coming in for Jokobitis. Hatsidakis also is going to come in. Larenzakis, go! He's just red hot! What can you say about Yanulis Larenzakis? He's become the man! Zakis fouls Brasdakis. And Jeff, the one thing that we loved about Lithuania was their pace. They need to push the ball. You can see in the paint, Brasdakis is fouled. Yeah, that was, an, that was an easy one, but look at the Greek fans. I mean, what can you say about Larenzakis? The guy has become the go-to man. He plays with so much self-confidence, and he looks, he hunts those threes. His application. And again, you go back and you remember several years ago when he was getting all those minutes in the European qualifiers for the 2019 World Cup. His stature has grown. It has skyrocketed. Demsha checks into the game, gets it over to Brasdekis. Steps in from the elbow. That's good. And Brasdekis carrying Lithuania right now. 
nine of their 11 of their 15 points. Papa Nicolau. Papa Petra with the rebound. Walkup needs to put it up. That's short. Keep doing, keep doing, keep doing. Go on, yes, do it. Yes, it. Yes, it. Easy. Oh, Demsha. Or no, on Mate, on uh, Hatsidakis. He's saying Mati Yunus pulled him down, which it looks like he may have. Mati Yunus into the corner, Demsha. Well, he had the layup, then he put a little bit too much power on it, off the backboard. Hatsidakis has it knocked out of his hands. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Really good defense there from Antionis. Great delivery in the paint. Knocks the ball out of bounds. But you can see Antionis did not let Pop, uh, Hatsidakis get behind him in his I'm, pick and roll coverage I'm not there. convinced Antionis didn't foul him on that drive. Could have been. Looks like he, he might have got, got the ball some of first. his arm. His hands. And Jeff, look at the way this Greek team has presented themselves in this game. No wasted energy, no complaining to referees, just focus. Well, they definitely don't need to be complaining right now because they're winning. 18 to 15, Lefteris Bokoridis back outside. Zakas left wide open. And Papa Nicolau knocks it away. Another chance for Greece. And Benjus reaches over and fouls Papa Petru. Again, using your fouls intelligently, stops the scramble, making a play on the ball. Had fouls to give. Nice play by Benjus defensively, alert. Bocaritas, long. And multi units fouled by Hatsidakis. And Jeff, you can see the Lithuanian players were disjointed on that play. Look at multi units huddling the team. They weren't on the same page with the execution of that play. Fortunately for them, Montinus drew the foul. Karanowskis. Ball goes to Montiunas. Nicola to Hatsidakis. Karanowskis looks up the floor. Cross court to Dimsha. But that's the type of transition we're used to seeing from Lithuania. Oh. And a bump on, I believe, Matiunas.
So the first one good for Larenzakis in Greece, who started cold. So look at this, team leaderboard, screens per game. Greece, 48.7 screens per game. Lithuania down at 17th. So Greece third overall, Lithuania 17th at 34.3. But I'm sure we would see post-ups Lithuania towards the top. Different styles which make this tournament so special. Paddling away. <laughs> but Jeff, you see the great defender holding on to Montiunas. Montiunas, outstanding effort to grab that offensive rebound. You see the switch. It's a veer back situation. Emergency switch. Volkaridis hooked him. But this is the type of effort Lithuania needs to assert themselves on the boards coming into the game, they count on that as an advantage. Both well, here is good minutes off the bench tonight. Gets the rebound, ball bounces out. Kuzminskis in the game, he's open in the corner. Oh, look oh. at the pass. Wow. Jeff, that was fantastic. That's your five man, Montiunas with a great pass, finding Kuzminskis on the other side of the floor just to beat the shot clock. Great play. Good pass, and Papa Nicolau had a good look. So, outstanding effort on the closeout there from Montiunas. He's doing it on the offensive end. He's doing it on the defensive end. What a fantastic first quarter. 2020, both teams made some runs. Look at that, no, look at those numbers. Again, Greece hitting the four three-point shots, four for 12, one for two for Lithuania. Look at these excellent plays here. Brad Zdikas with a great start now, Jeff. A little secret information from the Lithuania team. Oh yes, please do. In the Mall of Asia, there is something known as Moe's Cookies. <laughs> and the Lithuania staff has tried to motivate Brad Zdikas if he scores 20 points and they win, Brasdikas gets two Moe's cookies, which he absolutely loves. And I'm telling you what, he is playing with motivation for Moe's. And if, and if it goes well tonight, he'll be wanting even more Moe's cookies. How about Larizakis? Man, you know, the talk amongst all the teams and coaches is he's a fourth quarter guy. He plays in the clutch, but he's gotten off to a great start here as well. Eight points in the first quarter. Look at those fans. They live for it, don't they? Passion. You know, Mike, you can scan in that barcode there and get Courtside 1891 in your smartphone to get video stream schedules, scores, and more. Just download the app. And look at today's games. You have Slovenia, Luka Doncic against Australia. You have Spain falling to Latvia. You have Germany beating Georgia. Earlier today, United States took care of business against Montenegro. Well, escaping. Escaping, but. An upset. You, we all need an app. You need, you need courtside 1891. That is our go-to World Cup app. Second quarter action underway. Thomas Walkup back in, bounce pass. Rokovopoulos is in, he gets it to Papayanis. 
Good effort from Lithuania there. How about Montaigne? It's almost making one from the baseline. Walker. Oh, nice put back from Rob Kovopoulos. And he's played really well for Greece. He's given them a lot in their tournament games. And look at Larenzakis take it right away from Muti Yunus. And then he makes sure that he gets between the bucket and Demsha and lays it up and in. Larenzakis makes winning plays. The intelligence to sneak in and poke the ball loose came off his man, uses his body, and finishes with the left hand. Jeff, you said it. How impressive is Laren Sakis? Uh, he might just be the most important player. Mike, what do you think about that stat? Very, very interesting. The two point guards, such a great matchup. Jakobaitis, 12, playing pick and roll, 15.3 per game. But walk up, number one. And we've seen. Lithuania has a special pick and roll coverage. They don't want to have regular pick and roll coverage and get caught behind them like they did this last play. So that's an issue for their team. On the other side, you know, really good game plan to cross match with Antetokopo in the game. If you're going to play Antetokopo, you need to play him as a five. Benjus strokes it. Just a pick and pop, shot fake, sidestep, dribble three. Great play from Benjus. Larzakis again, over to Papa Petru. And Kuzmiskis is going to be helped up. So foul called. I think they called him on the baseline. Okay, saying so he was out of bounds. Yeah, before any contact. So Dwayne, so. Okay, it'll be Greece basketball. And what a spin to get free. Uh, Kuzmiskis corrals it. So now Lithuania can go back in front. Backing up Balachunas. Turn around, fade. And Ben just gets it. Great blockouts from Lithuania. What a competitive game. What a battle on those boards. Ben just get it to Balachunas. No success. 
Demsha, they scrap for the basketball. Valentunas had wanted a foul. But you got to play D, you can't complain. So the foul called on Lithuania. And Jeff, he got him on the spin. Yep, clearly on the right arm. So he goes back out, Jokovitis and Normantas back in, Demsha goes out. What I'm really enjoying watching, Jeff, from Lithuania is their battle to direct the Greek guards in pick and roll. So get uh, on the court with the ball, Jonas Papapetrou. Two point one seconds per touch. Frank's 17th among the forwards. So he's getting rid of it, isn't he? Yeah, he's a team player moving the ball. Whistle blows again. Lithuania coming into this game unbeaten. Greece, their only loss coming to the United States. Normantas. And there is Valachunas with the putback. And again, that's really good offense for Lithuania. Get the shot up, get the shot on the board, and let Valachunas clean it up. Into the corner, Rokovopoulos. And Kuzminskis fouls him. The mental mistake. So again, the referees have been clear on both ends. We just had a foul on walk up in the post. This is not a flop. Again, you can see Watch. defensive discipline here. Watch the hand check. The contest. And then he hits him. Now, it's not the strongest foul in the world, but the referees are consistent. They're protecting the shooters in this game. So, Rakovopoulos, three points. Ten apiece for Larizakis and walk up there leading the scoring. And he makes all three. Well, he's a shooter. Lithuania down three points. Moraitis in the game guarding Jokobaitis. Pass intercepted. Turned right into the hands of, of Greece. Here's Larizakis. Oh, look at that. Just looks off the D. What a feeling for the game. He's kind of old school, isn't he? Doesn't have great hops. Here's Palatunas. But Jeff, one thing that this Greek team is doing really well when Valentunas gets the ball to post, and here's the play from Larenzakis, a spin, two on one, oh, ball oh. fake and finish. But down on this end, the Greek team is putting outstanding ball pressure on Valentunas in the post when he catches it. He's having a difficult time throwing the ball out of the post on post reaction. So, Lawrence Hawkins goes out kind of grabbing his left hamstring. That's not good. No. And this is when the uh, team physio comes in, uh, becomes the most important person in that 
delegation. Layup. Great end line inbound play there from Lithuania. Oh, what a bounce pass to Pepe Petru. Terrific play. The lead is fired. Normantas. Oh. And Benjis goes down, and it's going to be Lithuania. It's going to be Greek basketball. Well, the Greeks have, since they had that early run to take the lead, have been impressive. And if you're in Lithuania, you, you do a great job attacking <laughs> closeouts. Okay. Yeah, he, he emphatically. And this might be the most important uh, play of the game, what those guys are doing to Laren Zakas' leg. Because if they lose him, it's hard to see them lasting. Here is Papa Petro. And the lead goes to eight for Greece. The foul by Moritis. They're shooting it much better tonight. Oh, they're playing really well. Biggest lead of the game for Greece, eight points. Normantas. Oh. And Walkup just kind of invited Normantas into bowling him over. Yeah, he did such a great job there, having the awareness of where Normantas was and drew the foul. And now, Jeff, Lithuania stays with the five. Valanciunas on Anthony Tacumpo. Let's take a look at the pick and roll situation with walk up for Greece. And Lithuania adjusts into a 2 3 zone. Walk up over to Papa Petro and Valanciunas with a big rebound. Papa Petro went down. I thought they might blow the whistle, but they did not. Krasdakis loses his handle. Horitis passes it and the foul on Yokobitis. I'd like to see those plays again. Reaching in. The so Greece surprising a little bit here. Their best game of the tournament, and it's come at just the right time against their biggest rival as they try to chase a spot in the quarterfinals. Walk up right at the line. Doesn't drop after the Campo gets it back. Moritis, bounce pass. Papa Petru. Now she has to run for Lithuania. They want to get it up quickly. And Sedekaris gets bumped in the paint. Lithuania desperate for something positive. And there it is. I mean, great shot fake and finish through the contact. It's tough for any defender when Valanciunas is right under the rim. Yeah. 
Σα έδωσε ο Στέφανο, δεν σα έδωσε ο Μαρκάτ. Είμαστε εξαιρετικά. Έχουμε ρεμάκι. They set the zone. With two sides, we have fucking everything. You don't need to force because they are big bodies. They're coming. You feel it. You have it. You're dead. Yes, you can make. I trust that. But we have also the creation from in ground. So, we still have the one move and the two sides. I believe it's better than two sides now. We get the deal with you. You don't need to make a moving skill. You just have to make a check. You're on Brasdek has started things off well for Lithuania. Scored nine of their first 15 points. And right now, that's exactly what he's got. And again, along with the win, Brasdek's magic number is 20. So he completes the three-point play, does Valanciunas. Walk up. Makes the use of Antetokounmpo coming up to set a screen. He's played great tonight. Walk up so under control of those pick and rolls. And what is impressive are the decisions, the decision making. Well, Yokobitis goes back to the line. Lithuania now five of seven from the charity stripe. Greece are six of seven. Now six of eight. Now back to a five point game. Walk up again, knocks it in. So Lithuania has to make some adjustments with their pick and roll coverage. They cannot go under, and even in the zone, walk up is carving them up. 15 points for Thomas walk up. Valentinus turns, passes it out. Normantis has to chuck it up. Kabopoulos, he needs to launch it. He gets it off in time, but it doesn't touch. Doesn't touch the rim. So Lithuania going to use a timeout here. Trailing by eight. Silver, 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 Silver,
Čia per dydį pagalba, gauni klausimą, kaip būtų klausimą, jei tu gauni klausimą, tai kas turi stengti? Gerai, davai. Thomas Walkup, the newcomer to the Greece team, has been fabulous. Yeah, and what impresses me, he plays at his speed. He plays under control and makes such good decisions. But Jeff, both of these teams have really demonstrated elite effort. They are playing hard. Let's see if Lithuania can execute here and get a bucket to get themselves going in the right direction. Walk up, sits down, six rebounds and four assists to go to this 15 points. Oh, nice play, Normantis throws it right at the rim. Jonas takes care of the rest. And the Greece now want a timeout. Both coaches super active right now, valuing every possession. Normantis throws it up over the top of that combo. Great finish from Valanciunas. So we'll go down to the bench. Some of the pictures of close-ups of the coaches and players tonight. And Laren Zakas, there's Papa Fester. Laren Zakas seems to be okay. He's come back into the game, so whatever ailment he had with his left hamstring seems to have been solved by the Greek physio. Nobody's important as the physio, right, Mike? Physio, very important for a team to keep everyone available. Oh, the ball gets away from Papianis, but he chases it down. Aaron Zakas puts it up. Give Normantis credit for that excellent defensive possession. Jokovitis. Oh, boy, that's big. They close the gap back to three. Maybe a little bit of momentum shift here at the end of the first half. And Larenzakis nails the three. Jeff, you cannot play for calls and flop. Normantis tried to get a call from the officials. Larenzakis made him pay. Don't play for calls. This is a great game. And offensive foul. Foul Valanciunas. Yeah, he moved into him. Good call. Listen well, to that I crowd. I think it's safe yeah. to say that chant is uh, not in Lithuanian. Oh, God. But it was the right call. And oh. now Jokobaitis reaches up. Look at the speed. He goes in. What a finish with Pompeianis. Trailing him.
Another steal by Yokovitis. He's got to put it up. Oh, great play by Larisakis right at the end. A risky play, perhaps, with Yokovitis from behind the arc. But Lawrence Akis, that's all he does is make plays. He's unbelievable. He's got 15 points. This is high-level competition intensity at the Mall of Asia Arena. Look at the playmaking. One end, Yakubaitis makes a big steal, and then a big deflection from Lawrence Akis. Jeff, what a great game. It truly is. Probably Narazakis or Walkup would be the player of the game at this stage. They have been sensational. 43-39, Greece over Lithuania. And Jeff, as you look at those basic numbers, Lithuania 20 to 10 points in the paint, but bench points. 26 to 10 for Greece. Greece hitting seven of 18 threes for 39 percent, and only eight three-point attempts from Lithuania in the first right. half. So you see, Larizakis and walk up each with 15 points. Jokovitis has the 11. Valanciunas and Brasdakis. Brasdakis really asserted himself early, but hasn't been able to get into the flow of the offense since. Big questions in the Lithuania locker room. How are you handling the walk-up pick and rolls? Well, we were just talking about those guys and uh, the point guards getting it done for their respective teams. I mean, what a fantastic matchup. Two great European point guards, walk-up, American with the passport here. But let's say they are continuing the great tradition of outstanding point guards for these countries, Greece and Lithuania. So the, the action, and I think you said it best, the effort from these two colossuses of European basketball is exactly what you want. And yeah. You know, these two, these two national teams are serious, and they're here to achieve, and they're trading blows in the first half. Like, very probably, impressive. probably coming into this game, you would say that Lithuania come into this game feeling much better about their World Cup than Greece, even though Greece won against New Zealand. But it's really hard to compare teams because they've played different opponents. So you look at the numbers, but you know Greece played the United States. You know, so for me, I think that Greece has really been ready to play. They presented themselves extremely well. And Lithuania, hey, you're working really hard, but need to make some adjustments and be really a little bit more efficient. Greece really having their best, I think their best shooting night. Maybe their best shooting first half, that's for sure. 39% from deep, 7 of 18. And... 15 to 35, okay, so it's uh, overall, so not brilliant at 43, but they have had their struggles. We're at halftime, 43-39 Greece on top of Lithuania. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, Together we, we are stronger. stronger. No, no matter, matter your, your origin, origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. Turns it over now. Samsonak come up with it. Wani big three, another block. That's the third block of the game by Renzabondo. Wow. Georgievich liking what he gets from Rudy Gilcho, and again, he goes up, and now he is the top scorer in this game with 18 points. And what a pass there from Ja Wei between the legs, finding Jin Zhao on the nice roll. And they get it in, Spellman bringing it over. He's staying aggressive, Saud is open. His shot at the buzzer is good! Not sure if that's what Coach drew up, but it doesn't matter because it works anyway. Trying to make a bit of 
Contra goes up, and when you Gabriel just says, not in my house. Francisco tries to turn the corner, drops it to Yabuselli, and one. It's just too strong, too big. Powers his way, bullies his way to the hoop. Sammy, bullseyes out. Oh, look at that. Ahab Amin takes it away. You cannot be serious. That, that is not gonna be, he just stole, he just snuck up there, took the ball away, went in for layup. And you gotta be, you gotta do better than this. Look at this. And they get it to Cruz, he kind of fumbles it, gets it back, puts up a three, got it! Well, there you have it. The icing on the cake of Mexico's best first half. Rejected. Soto with the denial. Lamont kicks out. Kwani Kwani. Looking to go in again. Still can't get it. But another block shot. Back to back blocks by Ty Soto. Soho driving. He coughs it up. Baba with the ball. He's looking for help. He finishes it. He had Jima. He one. He had Jima. What a play! Japan has the lead. Rene Baba saw the defense coming, he's holding his shoulder. But look at the heads up play. but also in the international basketball world forever. Marcus Jakobaitis, a key for this Lithuania team. Let's see how he can respond in the second half. They've got to make some decisions on their pick and roll coverage with walk up. But again, every time it seems like Lithuania is ready to make a play, Greece responds. And Jeff Jakobaitis, continues to grow and develop. He just makes plays, doesn't he? Oh. 11 points. See where he's scoring. He hit the three. Driving.
I wouldn't say that Lithuania has superior depth either. I mean, I think it's for Greece. I was concerned about them hitting shots, but they've made shots tonight. Well, there's been no advantage for either team better than walk up and pick and roll. And he, he got a rhythm because they went under and then they tried to adjust it. He, you know, put him in jail behind. And this is very much Luka Doncic like. Like he, when he gets you behind him, it is a two on one on the big. And walk up has been fantastic. So the spark from Laren Sakas. But that pick and roll defense is the biggest concern for Lithuania at the half. As I said, the, the real beauty of this game is the battle from Normantis and Jakobaitis to direct the ball in pick and roll, send it one way, and they are not able to pressure or speed up, walk up, and he's done really, really well. Yeah, he plays He plays under control. Well, we'll see. We are in the second round. It's the uh, first day of the second round. Some surprises, some upsets today, if you will. Spain falling to Latvia. That was certainly a big one. Italy beating Serbia. I think probably you know, Serbia had went into that game unbeaten, and a lot of people starting to talk about them. Italy brought them back down to earth a little bit, although it was a close game. Close game with Slovenia and Australia right now. Look at Greece, though. Okay, Greece did a great job finding, shooting. Larantzakis with a spark. The bench points, 26 to 10. You know, but let's also talk about Greece defensively, Jeff. Okay. When the ball went into post to Valanciunas, they put tremendous ball pressure, physical ball pressure on him. They yeah. forced him to the baseline. They, he was not able to really easily throw the ball post reaction out of the post. So sure. the, the game plan from this Greek team tonight is on point. So basically, even if it takes three defenders, you're like basically forcing them to the, to the baseline. Yeah, what happens when you double team or play one on one in a low post? If you let that defender or let that offensive player see the middle of the floor and have no pressure, then he's going to pick you apart. And what they've done is apply great ball pressure in that low post so that he's unable to make really on point, on time, on target passes in post reaction. Seeing all those photos, those close-ups, does it remind you of when you, when you coached Poland at the World Cup at this stage? Yeah, you love the intensity in 2019 as we advanced from the first round 3-0. and Our first matchup was against Russia. And this was a veteran team and a big team, and they bullied us in the first half. But our guys really responded in the second and came up with a huge win. Whatever it is, we gotta go with a mobile place. Mobile place that you can bring the ball, fist four, fist four, push. We have so many things from fist four. Fist four, fist one as well. Mobile place. Even, even if we get um, a direct play, it can be a drive and kick or a drive to score and then kick, okay? Hey, but defensively, we have a good lineup. We play the same. You go now and uh, you have to buy this. Okay, listen, listen, one thing. Until now, on the left hand, he scored seven points. points. On the right. Well, you can download the app for the FIBA Basketball World Cup. 
in your smartphone just scanning the barcode. It's a great, great resource. Have you got a gut instinct about which team comes out stronger here in the second half? And is it more important for Lithuania to come out strong than Greece to try to change the momentum? Yeah, they've, they've got to figure it out how to get Valachunas the ball in the post. Again, the pick and roll with the five man can be really effective, Papagiannis. But again, they've only shot eight three-pointers, so that's great activity for the Greece defense. Oh, boy. Lithuania well, almost turns it over. Larenzakis looks like his hamstring's okay. Creating chaos. Brasdakis, just like he started the game, hits a three to pull Lithuania to then one. Most cookies, Jeff. Modes, I forgot. I to ask him what. They need a win, and he's up to 12. I wonder what makes him so special, Modes Cookies. Because no 20 staff said he absolutely loves them. <laughs> he's a cookie monster. He is a cookie monster. See some crumbs in the beard. Here goes, oh, behind oh. the back. Had Papayanis been able to catch and score there, that would have been on the highlight reel, as it is. It still could be. Look, look at this. Oh, what a right. delivery. It was the perfect pass. What a delivery. So now, a three, another chance to execute. We've got a one-point game. Papianis is two points. Three-pointer! Lithuania back in front. Spain pick and roll action. Loosened up the shooting. And Normantis for the second time tonight goes down, flirting with a flop. There's woke up. Look at that. Great rebound, great block. And great defense, great hands by Greece. But Tom, uh, I think Walker, I think uh, Normantis is going to get hit with a technical here. Yeah, again, Jeff, get the flops out of this game. Walk up, good! Money! So again, instead of playing for calls, guard walk up. Your team needs you right now. He's just business, isn't he? All business. Foul called. And Jeff, we've had excellent officiating here at Ball of Asia Arena, and we've got some new referees coming in, as you see the play here. Laren Zakas, foul. You know, there's so much discussion. Look at that rejection. Outstanding block, but there's so much wasted energy and discussion. Focus on the next play. Be present for the next play. Prasdakis gets it deep. What a shot! Mo's outstanding motivation from this Lithuanian <laughs> coaching staff. Whatever it takes, Jeff. <laughs> There's Akis. He still finds a way to get the shot off, but misses this one. And Greece will maintain possession. We went looking for most, didn't we? Yeah, we did over at the Ball of Asia Arena between games. Came, the guy came up to us and said, you got to find these. Look at that shot from Brad Dacus. So we went searching for Moe's. The Mall of Asia is apparently the biggest mall in all of Asia. Oh! Look at the rejection. Here comes Brad Dacus. He's feeling it, but he doesn't launch it. Hey, he's got a it. mismatch. Passes to the corner. Zadokarskis over to Yokobitis. And great hands once again by Larenzakis. Oh boy, Walkup couldn't collect it. Yokobitis, how crucial is that? Tough break for Greece. They played great defense. Yokobitis buried it and had a few words for the Greek bench. Yoko, I'm going to win TCL MVP again, 17 points, if they win it. He's been terrific. Walk up, meanwhile. Yeah. 
They might have to start putting Jokovitis into the MVP talk. Oh, Krasdakis. Oh, they have called a technical foul on Larenzakis. And Jeff, you could see it coming. Both teams flopping. This is excellent officiating to set the line. Draw the line in the game. Get the flops out, guys. You have a great game, a lot at stake. Again, you can see Brett Stakis, similar to walk up, the rest of these guards, he's got the defender behind him. And we've got to just fall, he falls down. Laren Zakis has done so many great things in this game today. Yeah, the only the only thing that's unfortunate is, is that Normantis went down a couple of times and nothing was called. But yeah. I'm not I'm not blaming anybody, I'm just saying. I'm just bringing some perspective. Both teams have flopped to this point. I am sure these officials warned both teams and said, guys, okay. clean it up. Well, okay. And from that point. Well, from that point, yeah. I'm right. sure that was communicated to the coaches, to the players. Well, if Normantis goes down again, I can tell you they are going to call it. Here's Valanciunas. Brasdek has stepped out of bounds. What a game, a classic European encounter. Papa Nicolau. How about Maridas? And where we've seen other Greek guards keep the defender behind him. We have a great step back jump there, jump shot there from Maridas. Maridas with a bump on Jokovitis. And again, Jeff, this Greek bench outscoring Lithuania 28 to 10. They've got great contributions from a handful of guys. And to be honest with you, the Greek defenders on the perimeter have done a better job getting into the ball handler, directing the ball handler, than this Lithuania team. Three-point shot from Normantas. The lead goes back to six. And Jeff, after a quiet three for eight, first half from three, Lithuania now seven for 12. Four for four. Wow. They're never going to be cold for the whole game. Walk up, walks back, dribbles between the legs, puts it up. Oh my gosh. I mean, this guy is unbelievable. 21 points, seven rebounds, four assists. Ball gets away. Here comes Maritis up to Papa Petru. Oh, the block! From Brasdakis, Indian action. Maritis, it looks good, it is! Incredible! We're not it. Look at Maritis diving for the ball, and Jakobitis gets it back. Utterly sensational stuff at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Jakobitis. Now he loses it, and Papa Petru takes it the other way. Papa Nicolau wisely holds it up. Papianis, ooh, a little long. But then Normantas doesn't rebound it. Lithuania a little tired. Now uh, Jokobaitis comes up and barges into Walkup, who's asking for an unsportsmanlike. Look at this. Block. Wow. We saw a great block from Anton Skupo in the first half. Yeah, that, I don't and, know, they're both like equally excellent. Yeah, and here, Brett Stikas. But I love seeing guys like Maridas come out and make plays. Yeah, it's factors. Relentless effort. These teams, relentless effort from both of these teams to this point in the game. And I like the move for Greece now to get Papayanis out and Antetokounmpo in because it feels like now this is his kind of game. And you'll see Valanciunas post, and you'll see pick and roll with Antetokounmpo against Valanciunas. 
Top of Fetzer missing, but look at that. Antetokounmpo rebounds it, gives it back to Walker. Walker pulls up and shot deflected. And the ball goes out of bounds to Lithuania. What a day it's been in the Mall of Asia. The USA having a real struggle with Montenegro, but able to gut that one out. And now it's European heavyweights, Greece and Lithuania. Here's Valentunas. Just goes hard at Antetokounmpo, and Antetokounmpo wins the battle. Isaacus feels the pick. Walk up. A little too much dribbling. Oh. And Razdekis takes it away. Razdekis. Walk up trying to come up with the steal. Look at Benjis. And Papa Nikolaou has given up two free throws. So Papa Nikolaou. I mean, that was a great effort by Benjus to get into a motion that got him to the free throw line. It's understandable what Papa Nikolai was arguing, arguing, but could have gone either way then. Jeff, the intensity level on oh, this boy. floor. I don't think we're going to be able to go to bed tonight, Mike. <laughs> It feels like more Lithuanian fans have arrived behind us. Where were they hiding them? Ball of Asia Arena at Moe's Cookies. <laughs> they, were, they were all at Moe's Cookies. The game started, and they didn't realize it had started, and now they've arrived. Fully satisfied. And motivating, <laughs> especially key players like Ignas Bredsdiakis. <laughs> Two point <laughs> I wonder what their favorite cookie is. Okay, Maritis. Drives. Papa Nicolau. And Walkup had the hot hand. Taranowskis outside the Dimsha. Gets it to Big Jonas! What a beautiful play from Dimsha. Attacked the closeout, drew the contest, and slipped the ball around the defender. And Valanciunas with a big bucket. Here's the Lithuanian defense. Oh! Good call. Dimsha was late to the spot. Here's, look at this beautiful pass. Everything contested. Papa Nikolaou goes out. Look at this again. He even got hit on that. He should have been to the free throw line. 11 and 7 for Jonas Valanciunas. He just does it every game, doesn't he? Yes, indeed. I mean, he's going to get his double double tonight. You can write it down. Here's Moraitis. Papa Petru. The captain! Number 21! So we see with. Mati Yunus on the floor. They're in a hard show, pick and roll, different coverage. Trying to impact, walk up, but a great throwback and shot for Papa Petru. Benjes, good! They are trading blows. Back and forth they go. Well, Lithuania lead it by five. Greece call timeout.
So you see here a great pass from Karanowska as they're posting up their wings and they have a screen the screener post reaction. Excellent screening and Ben just buries the big three. 61-56, Lithuania has responded in this third quarter, outscoring Greece 22 to 13. Long way to go for those fans and for everybody else, but look at the joy that this Lithuania start to the second half has, uh, has given them. Jeff, this is a chess match between these two coaches. They're really going back and forth with some really nice adjustments. It's really a lot of fun to watch the players, the intensity of the teams, and also the strategy between these two excellent head coaches. Dribbles left. Papaventu in the right corner. Rogmakopoulos in the left. They get it to Antetokounmpo. What a finish from the Nazis! Breakdown in the Lithuania pick and roll coverage. Montiunas was on the right side. And they were sending the ball to the left. Great pass and walk up. Antetokounmpo with an excellent finish. Greece get the stop. And it all starts with ball pressure. Moraitis launches. Good box out. Uh, Lithuania want to take the last shot. Oh, Montiunas takes it and makes it! And set the combo! A little too high. Montiunas continues to contribute. And Lithuania leading 64 58 at the end of the third quarter. Look at those numbers, Mike. 9 of 14 now for Lithuania from deep. 10 of 26 for Greece. I mean, that's totally different from the first half. But the rebounds now, Greece are doing a great job. It's 23-23. That was an advantage coming into the game for Lithuania. The Greek bench, Jeff, 33 to 18 in this game. And then for Lithuania, 24 to 12 points in the paint, as expected. But great response from Lithuania in this third quarter. Let's see if the Greek team can rally and make a run. Well, there have been so many twists and turns in, the, turns in this game. All bets are off. Yeah, the intensity level, the coaching matchup, I think we're set for a, a great fourth quarter. Scanning the barcode for Courtside 1891 to get it in your smartphone to get video stream schedules, scores, and more. Just looking at a couple of the other games here tonight. Wow. Canada I up 31-27. On Brazil. I mean, Puerto Rico up three on Dominican Republic late, final minutes. Looks like Slovenia have beaten Australia. I mean, what a World Cup. How many people were picking Australia to win this? Their loss to Germany was costly. I mean, it's just hard. You can't afford to lose. That's what it boils down to. No, you, you got to be ready to play. You got to show heart. You got to be together. I mean, Lithuania goes 3-0, and but they can't afford to lose this game. This is the key game because you know who is looming in their next one.
The USA. The United States now of America. I think that they will have an opportunity to really compete with the United States and control the tempo, but... It's a, it's a lot of pressure to have to beat the USA. Without a doubt. Walk up, takes it deep. Look at the fight. Karanowskis comes down with it. Mendogas, Kuzminskis, back outside, benches. That's what he's out there for. Knocks down the three. So great job from Cash Maximidis. He's posting up his wings and he's creating great post reaction threes. They were so prepared to pressure Valanciunas in the post. Jeff, first half three point shooting, Lithuania, three for eight. Second half, seven for seven. Intense stuff. Here goes Walk Up again. Papa Giannis. Hey. Take it deep. Papa Petru and a reach and a foul. Both teams making multiple efforts with intensity. Team defense. Really competing at a high level. And Mr. Fourth Quarter. Larry Zakis re-enters the game. Valentuna sitting down, resting. Big minutes for Montiunas, and a great defense forces the turnover. Special situations. This Lithuania team, well prepared, competing, come up with a big five second call to get the ball back up by nine. Kuzmiskis, another. Eight for eight. Zakis takes it deep and scores with the left hand. Wow. Shooting three, splitting pick and rolls, finishing with his left hand, defending. Lyron Zakis, impressive. Ronowskis missing it from deep at the tip in from Benjes. Boy, Benjes not just hitting threes, but also crashing the boards, and the lead is 12. Larenzakis missing.
Three pointer from Dimson, no, but the foul called on Laren Zakas. So much better ball, ball movement here in the second half. And look at the effort on the offensive boards from Benjius. His effort is rewarded as the ball is tipped in. And multi units. Everything clicking right now for Lithuania. They have just been the better team in this fourth quarter. And that's outstanding ball movement. Great teamwork. They create an advantage. And they're really unselfish playing together. 20 assists now for Lithuania in the game to 12 turnovers. On the other side, Greece has eight assists. Well, those fans know if Lithuania can win this game, they punch their ticket for the quarterfinals. Greece will not advance. And USA would also. So right now, so much just this determining game, and it would mean that the Lithuania-USA game would be for the, the higher seed for first place in this group. And as we see how competitive this second round is, this is what makes the World Cup so special, Jeff. What do you think about this Lithuania team? I mean, they looked not out of it, obviously, in the first half, but they really had to regroup. Well, I think they made some really good defensive adjustments. And then on the offensive side, a great adjustment from Coach Maxinas. Look at Monte Yunus, eight points today. He's been great off the bench. And you and I were talking about how he's just, I mean, this is you talking how he's just a perfect fit for this team. Yeah, he's done a great job, and he fits. This team, you see they fit really well. They're playing so hard together. They had some adversity in the first half, and then they come out eight for eight to start the second half of three-point shooting with improved ball movement. Well, Kavopoulos missing. Is but, there anywhere do you feel like Greece have, uh, have lost the initiative here? Well, the great sub has been Monte Yunus because of his active pick and roll coverage. They can hard show on walk up and impact the ball and defend behind. With Valanciunas there in the drop, and that was just letting walk up cook. Monte Yunus, another rebound. But again, and they turn it over. Posting Kuzminskas, posting Benjes, posting Karinowskis. You know, Greece was ready for the Valanciunas post ups, the Montiunas post ups. They are where they, there's not as much ball pressure applied to these guys. And the screen, the screener post reaction has loosened up the three point line in Greece's defense. Nice turnaround jumper from Papayanis. And walk up, plays at his own speed, makes a great pass fake, allows Papayanis to get position. Spain pick and roll action here. Switched well from Greece. Benjus. Kuzminskas. They got to go. There's Zakas to walk up. You can see the pressure at the point of attack is so much better this half from Lithuania. A lot of that is from Mount Monte Yunus. Well, walk up trying to get it down low and much like the Greek defense kind of frustrated New Zealand in their last game, now it's the defense of Lithuania that's just taken over this game.
Walk up to the bench for a quick breather. Greece ready to pick up full court. Looks like they're dropping into a zone. Valanciunas catches, spins, turns, and scores. When he pivots, his wide shoulders create so much space, and he has that nice touch. You're not blocking that shot. Arantakis finds his way in. And a technical foul. Laren Zakas sets five, he's out. And that's a crushing blow for Greece. Look at the defense, it's just relentless. So the flop. The flop comes back to hurt you. Two flops. And he's such a great player. Really difficult for Greece to handle him leaving this early. Well, I mean, in fairness, that was not a flop. I thought they called a technical, so just an offensive foul. Demcha for three. It's good. Hey, Jeff, we talked about a big advantage for Greece, 33 to 18 at one point in the bench points, and now it is 35-31. This Lithuania bench has stepped up in the second half. Good observation. Brock Kavopoulos fouled. 17 points. A mountain to climb for Greece. If they can get to the free throw line, stop the clock, that will help them. But they got to get some turnovers. They've lost their valuable player, Laren Zakas, for any type of comeback. Well, they need walk up back in the game as soon as he's ready. He's played 32 minutes to this point, but with Valanciunas out there, they can go back to their 1-5 pick and roll with walk up and attack the drop from Valanciunas. It was Monte Yunus that impacted the ball and changed the Lithuanian defense, helping them make a run. So the hellish chance, the Greek fans trying to get behind their team. There's Lucic trying to knock it away. Oh, falls down, Jokovitis, Brazekis. Jokovitis, just too much quality. I mean, he caught the ball with two seconds. How did he get that shot off? Got another! Well, they've just... They're not taking no for an answer, are they? So they've done a great job creating open three-point shots in the second half. They had eight in the first half, and they're all the way up to 22. Amazing three-point shooting, but really good adjustments from the Lithuania coaching staff right there. Momentum is unbelievable.
We need to have a pride. And we're going to play until the last fucking second with pride. So now, we go one-on-one -on, -one on the post unless it's a mismatch. And then we rotate. We go one-on-one, -on -one, everything. We spread the floor and we go man-to-man -man X. No 33, man-to-man -man X. Fight, guys, fight! Offensively, offensively, both side push. Well, that was a great timeout, wasn't it? High level. Demetrius Itunis, I love it. You are coaching your team. You're encouraging your team. Lithuania has run away with it in the second half, but the tournament's not over. They've really done well for themselves. It's disappointing, but they've got to keep fighting and talking about pride. Again, you can see why Demetrius Itunis has had such success throughout his coaching career. I love the timeout. No quit in a Tudis. Walk up. Here's Valentunis. Well, it looks like there's going to be some cookies delivered to the Players Hotel tonight. Some Mo cookies. There is a steal for arguably the guy that's been the most important player tonight. I mean, it's a it's a team effort, no doubt. Everybody's had a hand in it, but Yoko Bidas has just been sensational once again. In fact, that steal from Yoko Bidas was his third. So he's got three steals to go with his 19 points. And five assists. Lithuania emptying the bench here, getting some of their reserves, some action. Fans love it. Boy, 21 point lead. That is some kind of turnaround from from the first half. Really good adjustments from this Lithuania staff. Really good performance. And I tell you what, Jeff, the United States is going to be in for a challenge when this Lithuania team plays them. This Lithuania team is next level when it comes to details, when it comes to teamwork, when it comes to playing every possession, 94 feet. The United States is going to have to put together a much better energy game against this really together Lithuania squad. And the shot blocked. And you wonder, I mean, obviously, so the USA and Lithuania punching their ticket for the quarterfinals tonight. So the pressure will be off, but I suppose both teams know that's just a challenge that you have to bring it all out. You have to go all out. Look at that now, three. Now, Jeff, this is critical. Brez Jacobs now has 18 points. He needs a bucket for Moe's cookies. And Maldunas commits the foul. Do you think he knows he needs a bucket? Oh, look at this. A sub. Oh, no Mo cookies. Whoa. What a disappointment. Here he is. He was ready to go today. Whatever the motivation was, I hope they give it to him. <laughs> it's incredible this has turned out to be a 25-point game, 24-point game. The power of the three-point line and ball movement, 24 assists for Lithuania, 11 for Greece. But throughout this, throughout this uh, stay in the Mall of Asia, we've seen some very competitive games that ended up being huge score lines. The games at some point broke. Valentunas takes a deep set. It. Servetus blows a kiss. Wow, 92 points. Jeff, their average is 93.3. So let them get one more bucket here. 
Maybe words going to get down to the bench. Get it to the bank. Ted Brasdikas needs another bucket. Well, I hope they reward him for a job well done. Sonny Karaskas. Two Mo's cookies despite only scoring 18. Just goes to show you how important every player is. I mean, Sonny Karaskas was key against Montenegro. Maybe not so much tonight, but his game plans change. Other players step up. There is Maldunas going for the basketball. Prasdakis has been crucial tonight. Well, look at that. Valentin is a rebound shy of his double-double. So he doesn't get it in the end. I'm sure he'll be satisfied with his game and the team's performance here in the second half. Wins. Jeff, we like letters, W's, over numbers and stats. And there you see the despair on the Greek bench. Papa Nicolau. Well, you know, you put a lot into it. You give up your summer. You want to you want to do it. You want to have those memories, create those memories with your national team. And Jeff, we see it is hard to win at the World Cup. Is it ever? Servetus missing. Final seconds ticking off the clock. Lutzis. And that's how it finishes. I don't think anybody saw this big of a, a difference coming. 92 to 67, 28 to 9. Lithuania outscored Greece in the fourth quarter. Just got out of hand at the end. What a performance from Lithuania. 92 to 67. They defeat Greece and punch their ticket to the quarterfinals in the process. And you look at the emotion from Papa Nicolau, and you can see what it means to him. And, you know, you have to wonder, he's a veteran, how many more of these does he have in him? Maybe it's just not going to happen. Jeff, father time is undefeated. Players must value every opportunity to take the floor on this stage. The World Cup is something special, and we saw special intensity out here. Lithuania leaves really pleased, really happy with their performance. Greek, frustrated. But again, let's give credit to this Lithuania team. They are really together. And those fans, unbelievable. Wow. But they, you know, it's incredible, considering who's not here, for Lithuania. We obviously know who's not here as well for, for Greece, and that's not to say had those players shown up, this would have been different. It's a team. You play with who you got, and Lithuania, I think against a lot of people's expectations, are 4-0 at this moment. And there's no better feeling than being 4-0, Jeff. And this is why you put on the national team shirt. You advance in this competition. They thank their fans. How far can they go? Well, look at those shooting numbers. They shot 63 points from deep. Sorry, 63% from deep. And I mean, they were three for eight at halftime. So with my Pennsylvania math, that's 12 for. Help me out. Well, let's just talk about the assists first. 14 more for Lithuania. Eight more rebounds or assists rather. Jokobitis, 19, 18. For Brasdakis, Valentunas was up there, and Jokobitis just sensational as we look at the highlights. Brasdakis was really good as well. Benjus, and Benjus, not just hitting three pointers, but crashing the boards. Yeah, you have, you have to do well in every category. Okay, yeah. did you add it up? Three pointers in the second half? But Jeff, like you're saying, the way they changed the game from the first half. Lots of good decisions coming from the coaching staff on both ends of the floor. Again, Lithuania can take pride in this team win. And, you know, with some quick permutations, Jeff, they were 12 for 16. Wow. In the second half from the That's, the that's ridiculous. Uh, it's, I mean, it's desire, it's heart, it's will. I would love to hear 
what was said in that halftime locker room. And when they weren't making it, look at this. They were getting the putbacks. They weren't going to be denied. Walk up so good tonight in the first half. And Jeff, walk up had seven of their 11 assists. Just not enough ball movement for Greece. Lithuania trying to get back to the podium at the FIBA Basketball World Cup for the first time since 2010. Of course, Greece, the last time they reached it was in 2006 when they made it to the final. So tough, tough opponent they ran into tonight. Greece beat them back in 2006 when they did make it in the group phase in Hamamatsu. And Jeff, how tough are those Jakobitis pull-ups? Yeah, they're, they're good. It's going to be interesting to see him test himself against the American team, that's for sure. So the Greek players say thank you to their fans for coming to support them tonight. Their love for their national team is not going to change one iota. So, again, USA and Lithuania up at the top at 4-0, so they will progress to the quarterfinals. They'll, they'll play tomorrow, or sorry, in two days for first place. Montenegro and Greece. They will face off as well. They're both two and two. USA winning at 85 to 73 over Montenegro and Lithuania just running away for a big win tonight, 92 to 67. Well, we really didn't know how this was going to go tonight. Greece coming off the momentum of their win against New Zealand. Lithuania three and zero. Oh. Could they step it up against the Greeks? We got our answer in the second half.